The way Google Photos works is it puts all of your photos in one place. I mean, is that wonderful? How many of you have photos on your computer, photos on an old computer that maybe never got transferred, photos on external hard drives? You're taking all your photos on your smartphone now, but you probably have a few camera cards too. How do you find anything? I well, don't know. <laughs> With Google Photos, the result of gathering the photos from your computer, gathering from hard drives, gathering from mobile devices, it all goes to the cloud and it eliminates any organizational structure that you had on those devices. So you're going to have to unlearn folders. Forget about folders. All your pictures now go to the cloud into your Google account in date order. So how do we do that? Well, I already showed you on mobile devices, if you have the Google Photos app installed and it's on, then it is uploading every photo you take with that phone to the cloud. But what if you have photos on a hard drive? Well, you have two methods, there's a manual method and an automatic method. The automatic method, mm, <laughs> I like for the first time. If you have thousands of photos on your computer, then you know it's way too much work to manually upload each folder. But if you just turn on Google Backup and Sync and tell it all your photos, it will do it automatically. When I did that the first time, yeah, took a week. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so that's great. But after you have those first several thousand uploaded, then the manual method, I think, is good. So let's say I have a hard drive and there's a folder of photos on that hard drive that I want in my Google Photos. I'm going to go to my computer and open up Google Photos and then click on this Upload button. Upload. And it gives me a folder structure of my computer. Well, the folder I'm talking about is on an external hard drive. I'm on a PC here, but this works pretty much the same on a Mac. I'm going to go to this PC and then the Seagate Backup Plus. And here is where I keep my local copy of all my good pictures. And there's this one, this early one of pictures that I scanned from when I lived in Alaska and traveled across Canada. So there is a picture I want. If I want all the pictures in this folder, I can just do a control A to select all and then open. And it starts uploading all of those photos to my Google Photos library. Now, I should tell you that even though I scanned these, I edited the dates using Windows. So I might have scanned them in 2010, but I edited their dates to be in 1966. I could put them in an album now. In fact, I think I will. So it uploaded 44 pictures. I will click Add to Album. I don't have to do this. They are added to the library already. They're added to my stream of photos. But if I want to find them in one group, I need to make an album. So I'll say Alaska Fordado. <laughs> so I've just uploaded 44 photos. Where are they? Here is my Google Photos screen, and these are today's pictures. Well, what date were those pictures? 1966. So what I'm going to do, I mean, if you scroll down, you are going back in time. And as soon as you start moving, you get this timeline at the right hand side. And I can just drag all the way back to the bottom, which in our case is actually 1890. We have a picture <laughs> of my great grandfather. We have a time machine. But if we scroll up a bit and find there, there are all the pictures because they are in 1966. 
All right, so that's just how to manually use the upload button in Google Photos to get photos from a hard drive. There's one other way to manually upload. So if I just go to my Windows File Manager and find that backup drive, pictures, I could also drag and drop. So if I just change my window size, I could have, instead of using the upload button, I could have just dragged that folder to my Google Photos and let go, and that way it will upload. Now you might be asking, well, didn't you already upload? Why is it uploading them again? Well, it looks like it is, but, but if you check your photos, there are no duplicates. It will not re-upload the exact same picture. That said, if you have different size pictures or edited pictures of the same photo in different folders, you will get duplicates. Anyway, so that's that way. And then that last way is the automatic. I just want to show you what the backup and sync looks like. So once you have backup and Google backup and sync installed, you'll have this little cloud in the lower right hand corner or on a Mac, it'll be in the upper right hand corner. And if you click on it and then click the three dots and preferences, you'll see where you can choose folders that you want to be automatically uploaded. So I can choose folders. And if per chance I was ready now to upload my entire, my entire set of 20 years of backups, I could just click pictures and select folder and it it would start uploading all of the thousands of pictures in that one folder. I am not going to do that. <laughs> all right, so that is how to upload from mobile devices, from hard drives, manual or automatic. Next question.